<laughs> hey guys, uh, how's everybody doing out there? Mom Vernon Kid here, back again. Uh, well, simply to tell you, give you a little update on what's work being worked on on my main channel. And some of the things you've been seeing that has been going up here on my main channel as of late. And why? So I'm here to deliver that to you and tell you what's going on. All right, first of all, I uh, wanted to bring up the fact that you've probably been seeing a lot of like things called video game topics going up, you know, on my main channel here. Uh, I used to have a video game channel that was just dedicated to gaming and things like that. I, you know, I would do my uh, live... Um, I would do a, a live E3 Q&A, you know, after E3 is over, E3 is coming up, so I would always do that. I uh, had a few uh, had a few uh, had a few uh, video, uh, video game um, like soundtracks on there, like I before Mortal Kombat X, I had a few of the Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat 9, uh, soundtracks up there, uh, had a, f had a few, uh, original soundtracks from a, a downloadable game that I really enjoyed called, uh, Captain Smiley, I saw, I actually took those and put them back up here, I had a few video game reviews, uh, I talked about, you know, I even, um, gave my thoughts, first thoughts on various, uh, uh, preview like you know basically uh, demos and things like that uh, but then I, I and of course I would put up a, you, you probably saw me put up uh, a few two video game character tribute tributes to video game characters that I really uh, that I love uh, the two that went up was the original Dante the real Dante from Devil May Cry and excuse me and uh, one of my favorite uh, Nintendo characters, Link from The Legend of Zelda, uh, yes. To me, Link is the true face of Nintendo. That's just me. That's my opinion. If you don't agree, that's fine. Uh, but um, you, you've probably been seeing that lately for all the, my, my uh, veteran subscribers and the, my newer subscribers that have been, been coming up. Um... So I had basically deleted that, and I took some of the content that was on that that channel, and I brought it to my main channel. I've started to do that lately. Take a lot of content that was on other channels that they it just maybe didn't feel like they were the purpose of having them on there. So I brought them to my main channel. Uh, so uh, you've been seeing that, but I've been loving the feedback, guys. That I've been uh, getting back from a lot of the video game topics that I've been putting up. Some of those, now those are old. I want to make that perfectly good. Those video game topics that I've been putting up, those are old. Those are, uh, I, if you look at the comment section or in the, the description, it says re-uploaded. I just re-uploaded those. Those are old. You could, you, you could tell some of them are very old, uh, but I'm still loving the feedback. You know, I, I loved hearing what was your favorite like I put up a, a trailer I put up a video game topic of um, talking about one of my favorite video game franchises Mass Effect and basically in that that uh, that vid I basically made a short vid talking about uh, would uh, would you would you be cool if the main protagonist in the next Mass Effect is of alien race is of alien origin instead of being human and uh, all those who are who love Mass Effect, they commented back, and I loved it, and I got a good response from that. Uh, I put up basically a trailer, uh, another video game topic that was talking about talked about uh, who was your favorite out of all the assassins so far in Assassin's Creed. That's another franchise that I love, um, and uh, got to hear people's you know feedback on that. Some people said. Ezio. Some people said uh, Altair. I've seen some Connors. Thank you. Uh, I 
that's my favorite. I've even uh, seen some um, Connor's grandfather, you know, I, I, Edward. I, I, I didn't hear too many from the, the newer ones now, you know, it was interesting. Um, but it was good to see that. And, and then, of course, I had some video game thought videos where, I, I, you know, just the thought, you know, it was like, what if, you know, they made a, a Tekken virtual fighter virtual fighter uh, crossover game got some good feedback there and I loved that I was like yeah I'm getting people thinking I'm I'm getting people interacting and you know them you know no negativity just just constant positive talk and you know just good talking like nobody is trying to showcase you know oh my dick's bigger than yours I apologize for that but yeah you know it's just good good clean talking which I love and respect that's one thing, that's one reason why I do the vids for, is to get good input, good, good, intelligent, not nearly aggressive feedback from, you know, people who are on, you know, commenting on the vids. You know, I, don't, I you know, I, it, it does bar, bother me when I see, you know, there's got to be, there's always going to be some dickhead out there that's going to cause some trouble and then get somebody else robbed up and instead of but then the most of the time but odds are maybe that one dickhead but then i got three or four guys out there having a good clean conversation that i love so i was loving that comment and then of course uh then i put up my, the other uh i re-uploaded another thought video video game thought video was basically my thoughts of the women of one of my favorite fighting game franchises Street Fighter, uh, and I, I went about an hour and hour and over an hour and a half talking about uh, all the the female characters in the Street Fighter universe that are playable and things like that. And I gave my thoughts on it, and I loved the feedback that I was getting from that bit, you know. And then it, even one, even one subscriber said, "I really enjoyed this." You know, it, tell me this is not the last, the first and last of this, are you going to go on to other fighting game franchises and things like that? And, that's, and that was, and I told him straight up, I was like, yeah, you know, don't worry, I'm, I'm working on the next one as I speak. And that's true. I am. I'm working on the next one is the women of Mortal Kombat. You know, gotta, gotta have Street Fighter Mortal Kombat right there together. You know, they're like, they're, to me, they're on the Mount Rushmore of fighting games. Uh, one, two, bam, right there. You know, so uh, definitely I'm going to talk about them. Th that one may be a little bit longer because there are more female characters in the Mortal Kombat universe than in the Street Fighter universe. So that might take a little bit longer. But still, you're, you, if you look at, if you're on my channel and you see my opening, what does my opening say? Not just welcome to my world, but it also, you got, it's got video games, TV, movies, anime, comics, all that stuff, that's me wrapped up. So I, I have to bring that to my, my channel in, in, in a degree to showcase, yeah, I don't want to have everything on a different channel. Now, so you'll see more video game topics and things like that. If And if there is, guys, uh, if there are people out there that, you know, hey, man, you know, out of respect, because I, I really want to get your opinion on this. Uh, it, could, could you give your opinion on such and such? What's going on? You know, like say if somebody somebody wanted me to talk about what's going on with uh, Konami so far. If that's a request, you know, I do take requests on that stuff. I'm, I I do take requests, but yeah, the video game topics and things like that. I'm not sure I will continue the video game character tributes because a tributes uh, I used to do a lot of tributes I do used to do tributes not just to video game characters but to various comic my favorite comic characters uh, some of my childhood heroes you know the turtles he-man thundercats stuff like that you can still find those on my channel the problem is YouTube now they get so strict with you know copywriting and things like that and when you feel like this music is so well put with this character, then you're no, all of a sudden you're going to get 
uh, a strike or something. And, you know, I'm not trying to have that right now. So uh, I was glad, I was glad, grateful that I was able to put those video game tributes on my main channel. So, but all in all, guys, yes, you will see more of the video game topics and things like that. Uh, you will see video game reviews and stuff when I start, even if they're old games, I'll do it. Like, because if I could show you guys, I'm not really going to turn my camera, but I got tons of games over there that I have not even completed yet. And that's not even a next gen system yet. That's that isn't that funny? Um, so, but I will do that. And if, if there are like you know, or uh, demos out there, and you know, you want me to give my opinion on a demo if I played it or something, I'll, I'll definitely you'll see that. Uh, but uh, so the video game copies are coming, but what about what's coming? What, what about your other stuff? You know, things like that. You probably ask yourself, Chris, like, yo, Chris. What about your 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 other various segments that you do? For example, your opinion spot. Opinion spot it will always continue to be strong. Um, I'm nearing. I am nearing. I think my 300th installment of the opinion spot soon. I'm looking forward to trying to figure out what am I going to talk about. Because most of the time, I try to plan out what I'm going to talk about if it's opinion spots. Uh, sometimes. A topic just comes to me right there, or just something that's hitting the web. I'll just give my opinion on it. That's what the opinion spot is for. And I love when you guys give your your opinion. That's what the opinion spot is for. It's for you guys to give your opinion on the subject that I'm talking about. And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna hate it because that's your opinion. I respect you guys' opinion, and I'm not gonna trash on somebody's opinion. I, that's not the kind of guy that I am. So definitely, even if I don't agree with it, and to a to a whole measure or just a small degree of it, it's your opinion now, and I will respect it. Okay? But yeah, the opinion spot is still going. And yes, somebody asked me this one Do I take requests for the opinion spot? Yes, I do. So if there's ever a, uh, ever a topic in the opinion spot that you want me to talk about, you keep, keep you can, I will do that. Video game topic, if it has anything to do with video games, yeah, I'll leave it for a video game topic. Uh, let's see what else. Second, probably ask yourself. Uh, so Chris, um, what's going on with uh, versus match with a twist? You know where we vote. You, you put up a you put up a, and we we vote on that. Uh, the versus match with a twist will be coming back. We'll be returning soon. Uh, we'll be returning soon. I'll probably just move right on to the next episode and kind of negate the last episode that I did um, before I wrap up that that uh because I kind of break some of my stuff into seasons now. So I'll wrap it up and put it on put it on hold or put it on to the next. And so, but the the last of the uh, what season are we on? First match with this. I think we're on season four. I'll be wrapping up season four soon. Uh, for versus match with a twist. So yes, uh, versus match with a twist will be coming back. And yes, I do take requests for that as well. Um, remember the the maximum choices you can give me in terms of the topic is twelve choices. So let's say for example, uh, you I give an example so nobody gets kind of confused. Say you want me to do best female powerhouse in comics. And you give me characters like Supergirl, Wonder Woman, She-Hulk, uh, Valkyrie, She-Ra. You know, you give me at least 12 choices. That's the maximum. I won't go over 12. But, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, Burst of Master of Twist will be coming back soon. Uh, what else is another, uh, segment I do, uh, Wow, it's a lot of topics that a lot of guys have always enjoyed me doing because it really got them interested in more of the characters, and that's characters why I like them. Uh, characters why I like them is a series where, for all those who are not really familiar with a lot of characters, I kind of educate you on these characters. Right now, we're in series three 
and series three was is beginning with for me is beginning with a lot of those those pulp era heroes those heroes that came before the the heroes that we got now like superman batman wonder woman spidey you know the x-men things like that these are heroes that came before these are heroes that paved the way for those heroes those heroes that were around 1930s 20s and things like that um I was starting it off with some of those heroes. I think I have one more pulp, pulp hero I'm going to do, and then I'll get to the heroes that you may, may be more familiar with. You don't know too much, but you recognize them. So, yeah, a versus match with a twist will be coming back. Uh, Chronicles of the Web, where I dig through my huge collection, and basically it's all about Spidey. I just we go down memory lane through the various Spider-Man titles. And when I'm talking about a huge collection, uh, I have a, my comic collection is huge, uh, and I have a lot of Spidey. Spidey's my favorite hero, so of course, I probably have a majority of my comics are a lot of Spider-Man, you know. Uh, I got a lot of everything, but definitely I collected every series, Spider-Man series you could name, I probably had it. Um, so. And I would usually take out a various comic from Spider-Man. And I, I kept telling people, I'm only going to do Peter Parker, maybe Ben Riley, But I said, I will never do, never review or th th uh, give my thoughts on anything Doc Ock, Spidey, Superior Spider-Man. No. God, no. But um, that will be coming back soon. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to bring that back. But I'll try to, I usually like to schedule everything. Like I try to maybe do this. This segment for a month, then I give it a little break, come back to it later on. Uh, uh, movies I recommend and 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 like. Uh, haven't done a few of those in a while. I gotta dig through my huge movie collection over there and uh, just talk about a various movie that I like. Even if I don't have it, I'll I'll talk about it. So, uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm breaking up the segments. Of course, the the monthly uh, theme Q and A's will continue to go. The next one, uh, soon I'm gonna put up uh, the 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 announcement for May's um, theme Q and A. I gave a hint to what it is in my Daredevil Q and A live Q and A. Uh, I don't know if everybody under understood it or got the the hint, but I'll I'll announce it. Uh, and I'm gonna keep going on, guys. Yeah, we're we're, we're going strong. We almost hit the 20 minute mark. But I want to make sure you guys are up to date on what's going on, you know. And uh, let's see what else. Um, uh, wrestling corner, the Bennett Bro Wrestling Corner. Uh, let's let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, wrestling Corner, as you all know, is a a live stream segment that me and my little brother do, uh, where uh, he and I and many of my various wrestling fans out there we kick back and watch uh monday night raw live and you know answer we answer your questions or we have topics of the, the day and you know we get your opinions on this and things like that and that's mostly for our wrestling fans out there you know not a, not all my subscribers are wrestling fans and I, I get that that's why i try to give a little bit of everything to all my subscribers if you're not this then you like that. If you're not that, you're not that. Uh, movie reviews. Let's let's talk about that. Yes, guys. Yes, the Omni Geek High Lords has not seen Avengers: Age of Ultron yet. Am I gonna see it? Yes, of course. Uh, it's just I've been really busy, and you know I just haven't had time. And plus, for me, guys, I have a I have a kind of a a notion that I don't like to go see these big blockbuster movies when they first hit the theaters. I give it at least a week. Or two to, for a little bit, maybe a little bit to settle down, and then I talk about it. Um, you probably ask yourself, so Chris, are you going to talk about? Are you going to give your thoughts on uh, the the look of the Suicide Squad? Uh, yes, I am. I am going to talk about that. I'm just going to. I'm going to keep it real honest uh, about what my thoughts of their look. You know, do I hate it? Do I like it? Um, how do I like? Do, do, does Will look good as Deadshot? You know, how do I like, you know, Katana, you know, things like that. Uh, Going to be soon be wrapping up uh, 
my flash uh, recaps you know I do do recaps of recap slash reviews of the flash series there's only like three more episodes left of the season so I'm gonna do those and then I'll probably do I will I'll probably do a season overview of the entire season as I always do uh, same thing with arrow I just do I always do for arrow I just do a review of the the uh, the season premiere episode and then I do an overview of the season. I don't do weekly reviews of Arrow. Um, Arrow has been off and on, in my opinion. Uh, uh, you probably never, you probably won't see me do. Oh, I'll also do an overview of the TMNT cartoon that comes on Nickelodeon. I've been loving that. Uh, can't wait to next week. Next week we we'll get Mondo Gecko on there. That's gonna be great. Um, it's gonna be good because Mondo Gecko in the, the show he's going to be voiced by the original actor who voiced Michelangelo from the original uh, teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies uh, so that's going to be really cool to hear and we get to finally hear that C word that I've been dying to hear Mikey say in this series for a long time I mean it, it look I'm a diehard Turtles fan if you, you probably can't see I got a Turtles I got Turtles hanging up here I got a turtle poster here, and I've been dying on the Nickelodeon show. I love that show. I like it. It's great. Uh, it's a good blend of comedy and action, but I've been dying to hear Michelangelo say those that C word, and and I'm because I'm getting. It's not that I'm getting tired of it, but it's just like it's like I get, that that Puyakasha is just really getting on my. It's it's kind of like no, don't no. Where's the Cowabunga, like, come on. Uh, but, yeah, looking looking forward to that. So I will do a season overview of that as well, as I always do. Um, you probably ask yourself, hey, Chris, what happened to, what's going on? How come you're not doing any more Sailor Moon stuff? I, I fell behind on the Sailor Moon recaps. I apologize for that. Yes, guys, I am a Sailor Moon fan. I love Sailor Moon. Sailor Jupiter, that's my girl right there. Um, and, um... I fell behind on it, so I'm gonna catch up on Sailor Moon, and when it's done, because I think the season is almost over, and cause and bam, uh, I'll hit you with an overview. Or what I'll probably do when I get the time is watch a few episodes, and then wherever episode I left off on with my roots, I'll put it there. I'll start from there. So like if I I left off the last overview or review that I did was maybe on episode six. And I decide to go, okay, I'll go, if I watch four episodes, I'll go uh, review on episode 7 to 11 or something like that. I'll do it like that. I'll break them up. But if not, I'll just do the uh, rest of the uh, uh, rest of the season overhaul for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, a lot of, this is some other comic book uh, related stuff that I also want to talk about. Oh. Uh, um, story arcs that I like, that I like. Basically, story arcs from various comics. I uh, haven't done that in a while. Uh, I'll have I'll probably do that sometime later on, later in the summer. I might bring that back for a month, and then you know let it let it go for a while, and then bring it back another month. Um, that's what I'm like. I start doing with my segments. I I'll do them for a month. Uh, have a little break for a month, and I'll bring them back for another month or so. Uh, last, what was the last story arc I did for that series? I think it was, I think it was uh, Annihilation. I think it was that, or I think it was Secret Wars, uh, the previous Secret Wars. I, I, no, I think it was a DC, a DC time. I think it was World War Three. I think it was that. I can't remember what it was, but um, that'll be coming back to um, probably ask yourself. Uh, so, what's going on with DC Elite? Are uh, you gonna start bringing up more of those? You know, because uh, yeah, I'm gonna start bringing more of those the DC Elite, you know, available titles because you know there are people who are interested in writing for that that site, and um, you know. I uh, got a few guys, you know, here that, you know, still looking at the titles. There is a 
a page where it has you know the opening titles. Uh, so far, I have, I believe, 27 writers for that site right now, and the site doesn't debut uh, until July 4th, 4th of July. So I'm um, uh, looking forward for that. Uh, Marvel 2K14, you know that that has its own page and its own channel, so things. And that's still going. Um, I'm about to put up some new titles on that this week. On that site this week, I I, I was supposed to put it up um, this week, but with uh, free comic book day and then the big the big uh, boxing match between uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather that kind of ruined my plans. I was just like, okay, I'll just wait. I'll just put them up next week. Um, Let's see. Um, somebody asked me about the character game. You know, uh, will I bring the character game back? The character, now, you probably asked yourself, what's the character game? What's that, Chris? The character game was a segment that I did. Was I would take a various actor. I started on my Facebook page. I would take a various actor or actress and say, okay. In your opinion, what actor, what what character could this actor play? And people would give their choices of various fictional characters. And uh, I then I said I'm gonna start. I'm gonna bring it to bring it here on YouTube and see what kind of feedback it would get. And it got a semi okay feed, but not enough that I think I'd. Not enough to the point where I think it was necessary to keep going um, because, you know, not a lot of people were participating in it. So I kind of like dropped it and was like, okay, I'll just leave up the episodes that were up. If I think about leave it up because if I get, I get uh, the Jones to put it back up, I will, I'll do it again. But yeah, you know, like I said, like I said, the movie reviews are going to be back, you know, I, I do do movie reviews and give my thoughts on that. Uh, any guys out there that follow me and my my team, uh, the YouTubers core, uh, the core is gonna is going through some changes of of late now, guys. Um, not for the bad, not for the worst, uh, but for the good. You know, some are moving on, and that's fine. You know. Uh, you know, don't want it. some some is a little personal which that's not that's only for me to know about not for you uh but we'll soon be back i think i'm gonna get some of the core members together uh after or when i finally see avengers and you know we'll do a, a core thought video on the avengers and what we liked what we did not like uh I might get together and do, might get some of the members together and do something to showcase, yeah, we're, we're coming back, um, is, you know, talk about the, the next upcoming Marvel movie being Ant-Man. Um, I gave my little, little thought about it too, because look, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's actually looking forward to seeing that movie. I know there's been a lot of tension between that movie because of the fact that, you know, uh, Wright left the project, you know, under creative different difficulties and differences and but I'm still looking forward to that movie. I'm I'm so much looking forward to that movie. I'm looking forward to that movie more than than Terminator. Uh, I really don't know if I'm going to see Terminator, guys. And I'm a huge Terminator fan, but I'm not sure I'm going to see that movie uh because of that damn trailer. That last damn trailer really ruined and it even it didn't even have to show that much, but it it showed enough to the point it was like okay is that that's the big plot right there and it was just like that was that's it it was like okay i don't know if i want to see that no more but uh i think i still want to do i am going to do a list of movies that are on my radar um i'll probably exclude movies like age of ultron mad max you know things like that you know i'll probably exclude those cuz those are on my radar those those are beeping beep 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 real loud, uh. But definitely, 
talk about the movies that are coming out, the last of the movies that are coming out in 2015. Uh, I know uh, some people have probably asked me, and I'm, I know this video is long, guys, but I, I just want to make sure I, I touch on everything, and I apologize if you know you don't want to listen anymore. You can turn it off uh, if you want, but I just want to make sure to my subscribers that you get the whole gist of what's going to be going down on this channel in the future and things or the the duration of the summertime before you know everything changes up during the fall and things like that uh, I'm still thinking about you know I know somebody asked me you didn't really touch on you know touch on your thoughts about uh, the Superman Batman trailer uh, you know I'm, I'm not going to touch on it. You know, I think what I said, or my thoughts on it is simple. Um, I'm just going to wait to the see it. You know, I, I don't hate it. Uh, I've always been very out, very vocal about my opinions on the, the comic movies. I'm not pro-DC. I'm not pro-Marvel. I'm not anti-DC. I'm not anti-Marvel. You know, I, I'm just a comic geek. I'm just a geek, and seeing the beloved characters that I love make it to the big screen makes me happy. You know, um, I do have some topics coming up about a certain uh, anti-hero that may be the first of phase two of us of the Netflix deals with Marvel. Yes, I'm going to talk about that. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, um, uh, I've seen a lot of people um, leaving comments on my fantasy fights that's on this channel. Um, somebody once asked me, you know, did you stop those? No, I did not stop those. My fantasy fights have just moved to another channel where it's just dedicated to. Excuse me, to that channel, to those. Um, you can go to that channel. It's called uh, uh, Mom Vernon Kid, which it's MVK Fantasy Fights. Uh, that's pretty much where those fights are. And I do take requests, and you know, uh, let's see. Uh, will I have more guests on my channel? Yes, I. I do, I'm always trying to get other, you know, plan out, you know, um, other fellow YouTubers that are like, that like things that I like to come on my channel and, you know, talk about certain things, you know, you know, I have people like Deadpoolzilla up on here, you know, he's an old friend of mine, you know, I'm, you know, he's a good friend of mine, so, you know, I have him up there, you know, Mr. J, um, it was great to finally have, uh, Comic Uno, uh, my, my girl Kat, you know, she was, up on she was uh, did a vid one time we talked about the 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 Titans TV show we talked about that and you know I'm hoping TNT and all that 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 name ain't gonna stay Blackhawks like really you're gonna no that's gotta go uh but if I missed anything I didn't do it on purpose I I don't want to make this an hour long video I'm over the half an hour mark now and I apologize but uh, there's a lot of things coming especially for the summertime for the the summertime for this uh, this channel you know like I said you know I appreciate all you guys uh, so much you, you guys first the one thing you did you know you helped me get to over 4,000 subscribers that was a milestone I thank you so much that I really appreciate that you guys like me no, I'm just messing with you guys no it was it was a lot of fun, you know. It was a lot of fun to share that with you guys. You know, four thousand subscribers. I know there are other YouTubers that's got over millions and over billions of subscribers, you know. But you know, people always ask me the one thing. I the one question I get asked the most, and I never change my tune on it. Never. I have never changed it. Somebody asked me, yo. They was like, Chris, you do, you have good content on your channels or your channel. How come you never try to go for partnership with, with YouTube or anything like that? 
And you know what I always say? It's not about being a partner. It's not, it, was, I was, it was never about that. It was never about that. What it was about was me bringing, broadcasting my hobbies to others in this country or other countries, showcasing what I like and seeing if people are going to run with the pack, run with my pack in a sense. You know, I look at you guys, my subscribers, as my pack. You know, you guys are my pack. You are my, you are my betas. Or alphas, yeah. Especially those who um, who have their own channel and do their do their job, and you know, like there's an alpha. So there's a bunch of alphas out there, but those who just are here for YouTube just to use content and things like that, and you know, you guys, you guys, I, I love having, I love doing things for you. I, I do these for you guys. I I don't look at this as a job. I and that was a, and that's something I always tell new new subscribers or people who want to start doing content here. I always say. Once you start looking at this as a job, it's like, oh, you got to put this up. That's when you should get out. If you still like putting up content on YouTube because you like doing it and you want to hear what people, you give your thoughts and other people give their thoughts, then it's fun. For me, that's what I do. I do it just to have fun and see what you guys think. And uh, I've met some pretty amazing people out of... Uh, ever since I joined YouTube back in 07. That was over eight years, almost eight years. Yeah, eight years, eight years. It, it's almost coming up. My anniversary for YouTube is coming up, actually. I think it'll my eight year anniversary of YouTube is actually coming up, uh, I think in August. Yeah, August, August, uh, my anniversary will come up when I first joined YouTube. Uh, but it's always good to see people that I've met through YouTube still doing their thing, like Brendan Hex, still killing it with the CMV, the comic book, uh, the, the comic book uh, vids. You know, you know, always tell you guys to follow me. You know, he, I've been, I've seen Hex through the thick and thin, and you know, constant putting up content, putting up content. Bullshit stuff get taken down. Bullshit stuff get taken down because of this, because of that. And then he puts it back up. It still gets a good, good review, good viewing, and you know things like that. You know, uh, Blue Goblin, my bro, Blue Goblin, one of the. If I he says it. I'm one of his. I'm probably the best friend he ever made. You know that. You know how much that make how that makes me feel. Here's a guy I have never even met this guy personally. Talked to him on the phone and you know kept in contact with the dude, but I have never met this guy person. And he looks at me like that, and I love that, and I respect that so much. And he still continues to do the comic reviews. Yeah, I do comic reviews, but I have a comic review channel for that. I, I will keep that comic, that current stuff on there. Uh, the question I think everybody has when are we going to see that huge? That huge collection you have, are you gonna put that on on YouTube? Uh, well, yeah. When everything gets in boxes, uh, not everything is in boxes. I don't want to, I don't want it to see every uh, everything has to be in boxes. Back. Um, so far, I'm putting everything in boxes now. Um, I still got a f lot to go. Uh, but, uh, but other than that, guys. Thank you for listening. If you did stay around for this long update vid, thank you so much. I will see you guys around, as always. Uh, keep looking for the content. Look for the content. It'll be up uh, soon, especially on this channel. And as always, this is Mom Vernon Kid. Bam! Yes, thank you, Gabby, for the shirt. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a geek high lord of New York saying to my other fellow high lords and high ladies 
take care i'll see you guys around